the, the rules change. The rules change around uh, the competition, and then the game starts to be analyzed by the old master from Salvador. So I met uh, on the on the competition, Master João Pequeno, Master Paulo dos Anjos. Mestre Tapuano, Mestre Ezequiel, Mestre, é, Mestre Peixinho, and loads of Mestres that some of them were coaches, some of them were judges. And uh, through that, when I got into the universe of the culture of the Capitol, when we started to realize that it was more than just the gymnastics, the movements that we used to. And we realized that Capoeira wasn't what we create on a day by day only was that as well, like we do here. We're creating the capoeira history of this area, this time, this country. But it's much more than that. Have the ancestors and the ancestors create a reason for us to do what we do today. And that was the biggest moment where I went deeper. And from that, uh, I start to, to realize my my to respect and realize my history as well. And that brings me a lot of joy. And uh, I, I, I used to like a lot travel because that is what we used to do in competition. And that bring me uh, many opportunities. And between these opportunities was to discover uh, other cultures, the ancient cultures. And I used to love that. I love culture, I love the, the the old continent, I love the, the architecture, I love the classical music, I love all these things. I never have access to none of this because I was very poor. But traveling, I, I saw things and I heard things and these things impressed me a lot. And one of my friends when I was a teenager said that he came to Europe. And that was the dream of my life because I was 25 when I saw internet for the first time. And the first thing that I asked to see was the Louvre, to see the things that were there. And uh, my friend came before that, my friend came to Europe and I asked, oh, how, how, is, the, how is Europe? How was, is this and that? He said, ah, nah, yeah, you don't like it. Oh, how you don't like it? Nah. People are really sad, in a bad mood constantly, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, ooh, that's brilliant. So how is brilliant, brilliant? That's terrible. <laughs> you no, know, that's brilliant. Because I love the culture. And I will show them my culture and make them happy. And then I will be happy sharing it and seeing everything that I would like to see. And that brings me to Europe a few years later. Let's see how many. Don't say the numbers. No, just <laughs> kind of like, tick like that. So, so, nice, so, 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 so yeah. <laughs> and living here in the winter, we realized that everyone can be a little bit moody. <laughs> if I lived in Brazil in the south, and when there is in the winter, everyone's moody. So I nobody say anything. About it. <laughs> so you discover that the things wasn't the way that he said. Was a little bit, but wasn't exactly like that. But the main thing was what we do bring happiness to people. It's fantastic to hear some of the the words that the guys were saying for about the classes, about the groups, about the, the experience that they have, because that just, again, ensured me that I did the right thing. Because it wasn't me that bring to you, but it was people like me that did that. And it was people that worked much harder and went through much terrible things, did before me, and before them, other ones. And before them, them, before them, other ones. And that does the link between everything we do. So that is really important, you know? And if I just have 15 minutes and I talk more, you have just 10. So <laughs> I think it's better for us to talk later on the party. And now we train. Okay? Is all right? Yeah.